In this video, I'm going to share with you how I do a 3D print in my studio using the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. I'm going to be printing the Black Bart toy collectible that I sculpted in Nomad Sculpt. The first thing that I do is close the blinds to block out any UV light. Then I turn on the exhaust fans to my spray booth. There's a link in the description so you can see how I built my low budget spray booth. I also use a small air purifier to help keep the air fresh. Then I take off the cover on my printer which blocks out UV light, which I'll put back on later for the print. I power on the machine. This machine runs its own self-diagnostic test. Then I plug in the USB drive, which has my STL 3D print files on them. Now it's time to put on my safety equipment. I get out the resin which is kept in a Ziploc bag to keep the fumes down. I'm a big fan of the Sunlu Toughness resins which are perfect for the toy prototypes I'm printing. I give the bottle a good shake and then I pour the resin into the resin tray. I hit the print button and then pick the files off of the USB drive. I then put the UV cover back over the printer. I also use a garbage bag to keep the fumes in to give the fan time to extract them. 2,000 years later. Well, it was more like two and a half hours later. I remove the covers and open it up to reveal the 3D prints. I never get tired of this part. It is still magic to me. The next thing is to attach this little bib that Elegoo gave you to keep any drips of resin off the printer. You attach that, you release the build plate, and you carefully slide off your print. I set the bill plate with the prints onto a couple of paper towels and let it drip off for a little while where I will change directions every once in a while to let that excess resin drip off. While the prints are dripping off, I pour the resin that's in the resin tray back into the bottle using a funnel with a paint strainer. I use the paint strainer to make sure that no unwanted chunks end up back in the bottle for the next print. Then I use a silicone spatula to squeegee off the excess resin back into the bottle. I have a small trash can with plastic bags in it to take care of all the stinky trash. I use these silicone mats to manage all the things that have resin on them for my cleanup. Now it's time to get those prints off the build plate. You could use a small plastic scraper like this, but I'm going to use a plastic paint scraper that looks like this because I feel like it works better. And I use a little piece of foam board to make a shield at the end of the silicone mat because sometimes those pieces can come popping and flying right off. I prefer to use the plastic scrapers to get the pieces off. I tried metal ones and scratched the build plate right away. Also, because this Sunlu resin is tough and flexible, the pieces come off very easily. The next thing is to clean off the uncured resin. The first step of this is to use a pickle container filled with alcohol. This is perfect because you put the pieces in and it has a little basket you can dunk the pieces to get most of the resin off. The next step is to then put the pieces into my wash station where they get a proper wash for about four minutes. While the parts are being washed off, I want to do a little resin cleanup. To clean off the build plate, I have this sealed container with IPA alcohol in it. I simply place the build plate into it. Then I wipe it down really good and then I use a spatula with a paper towel to get in there and clean out all that resin. Then I spritz out the resin tray with alcohol and use a disposable shop towel, which are more absorbent, to get out any excess resin. I even use a few Q-tips to get into the nooks and crannies to clean out any resin. Then I clean up the other tools that I was using, using alcohol and paper towels. A good way of cleaning out the funnel is to take a piece of paper towel with alcohol and push it through with a popsicle stick. Quickly wipe down the area to get ready to take the pieces out. Now here's where I begin to snap off the supports. Because this Sunlu toughness resin is kind of flexible and pretty rugged, you don't have to be really precious and the supports snap right off. Then I use a disposable toothbrush to really scrub down the pieces to make sure I get the resin that are stuck in the nooks and crannies. After I scrub down all the pieces, I give them another wash for about three more minutes. 
I then dump them out and let them fully dry before curing them. Then they go into the UV curing station. Typically a standard resin might take about seven to eight minutes to cure the pieces. But this resin, I've been curing it for about 20 minutes. And while those pieces are curing, I make sure to get that trash out right away. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you like watching me do a 3D print with the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. I've only been doing 3D printing for about two months. I put it off for a long time. I'm really glad that I got into this hobby. So if you're kind of intimidated or think you might not be able to do it, there's a lot of information out there. And these machines are really user-friendly now. So I highly recommend that if you wanna create your own things or innovate or do just 3D printing as a hobby, you should get into it. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep drawing, keep designing.